hate when people like just change your whole personality to fit the challenge. It just kind of feels like a one trick pony. You're not really sure what is going on. I personally not vibing with it. Who do not know me my name is neon noir i'm a half italian half canadian drag queen living in belgium and if you're new here go ahead and hit that subscribe button today we are playing my favorite game fab or drab where we rate the looks of rupaul's drag race season 16 episode 12 and let you know if the looks are fab and fabulous or drab and awful and make sure to tune in all the way to the end where I let you know who had my best and worst looks of the week. This week on the runway, the category is chain reaction, where the queens must give us their best interpretation of chains, baby. So without further ado, let's find out who shined bright and who faded into obscurity. First up, it's Morphine Love Dion, and Morphine Love Dion is saying, you want a chains? Let me give you chains. She is coming out in chains from head to toe gold chains to be precise she's got a gold chain headdress with a gold bodysuit that is dripping with chains on the hips and shoulders and she's paired it with a gold thigh high boot mama she said you want chains let me give you chains morphine love dion was like i'm gonna hit this concept and i'm gonna hit it good she's giving you every chain in existence and i'm loving every minute of it it is definitely a silhouette but more than a silhouette it is an attitude and that attitude that morphine definitely has this both fits her character of drag but also gives us something a little bit different a little bit more hard edge you know morphine is usually a little bit softer but i kind of love like this this edginess to her that she's presenting this time it's giving me a little bit of Mugler, but like done in a chain way. All in all, I'm loving this outfit. I kind of want this outfit, but I feel like this is like an ongoing theme, you know, where I want other people's outfits. All to say, this is fantastic and definitely gonna get a bow. Next up, it's Q, and Q is coming out wearing this two-piece chain-inspired look. It is like black and red with a, like a bolero at the top, and you wait for it, pants at the bottom. I know, right? She's got these giant hooks in it that kind of resemble chains with chains dangling from it. On top of it, she's decided to pair it with hair. That's two weeks in a row that Q is wearing some hair. I don't know what's going on with this episode, let me just say. But she's definitely giving you a little bit of like that edgier punk vibe. And I don't know. I don't think this is particularly a bad outfit, but I'm not sure if it's a good outfit either. Listen to me, right? Uh, I think that the concept is really strong. The idea of taking this chain and blowing it up and making it huge uh, is super cool. I think it works really well on the pants because you see those hooks. I don't find that it works very well on the top. It's kind of just got these buckles and it all kind of blends in together and you're not really sure what is going on. On top of it, she decided to wear hair on this and, and I can't believe I'm saying this, I think this is an outfit that could have done with one of her headpieces. Imagine a whole headpiece made out of chains. I think that would have been a little bit more better suited than this because right now it feels a little disconnected. I mean, yes, the colors match and it, and it is an updo, so it, that kind of works, but I'm not sure that it is the right vibe. Although this is a very well made and well very well constructed, I personally not vibing with it and that is why I'm gonna go ahead and give her a drab. <laughs> Next up, it's Dawn, and Dawn is coming out in this uh, black dress with chains all up the top and chains coming down her face. It is definitely giving you a vibe as she walks down. It's kind of got like this sexy, but also kind of like edgy look. The way that the chains are draped across her face kind of gives you that visual allure. It's kind of giving you a little bit of that like Middle Eastern vibe, but taking it in more of a fashion direction. I just kind of love that she took the chains all the way to the face. I think that that really gives you an extra piece to work with and kind of sets you apart from everybody else. On top of it, although she's got chains on her face, they're not blocking her face. So you can definitely see it. And if anything, they kind of accentuate her face because you just see her eyes 
popping out they really stand out especially when she gives you like that glare you know what i mean the outfit overall is feeling like dawn which is very important when giving one of these challenges i hate when people like just change her whole personality to fit the challenge but dawn has found a way to introduce herself into this look and this feels right for her but the one thing that is bothering me is the cutouts on the side of her hips now, I actually do like the garment and I think it is very sexy to have those cutouts. The only reason it is bothering me is that we see her do this time and time again. It's like every week is a, the same silhouette and I wish she didn't have it this time, you know? I think this could have been really sexy with just like a plain black dress or if you're gonna do it for this runway, just don't do it on all the other ones as well, you know what I mean? It just kind of feels like a one trick pony and I feel like Dawn is a lot more than that because her concepts are super original and cool. I just wish that she doesn't always use the same silhouette. That being said, regardless of my feelings about this cutout situation, I think that she does look cool, she does look great, and she does look dawn, and that is why she is getting a bum. Next up, it's Nymphia Wind, and Nymphia Wind is coming out in blue. Oh my god, it's not yellow. Call the police. What is happening? I don't believe it. Nymphia Wind is wearing a color that is not her signature color. I think an angel must have died somewhere because this is a miracle. She's coming down the runway wearing a baby blue bodysuit with thigh high boots and a blue whip. She's got chains all down her body and even chains in her hair. She is looking fantastic, by the way, in blue, which just goes to show that Nymphia Wind should try other colors sometimes, not only yellow. I love this outfit and I love it specifically for Nymphia Wind because besides the fact that she changed colors, she also changed silhouettes. Usually Nymphia Wind likes to do a conceptual, a little bit of nod to like the camp, but making it fashion. That is just generally Nymphia's sweet spot, but this is much more sexy, much more hard hitting, much more edgy, but definitely still has the polish that Nymphia Wind is known for. The only critique I have is actually about the whip. The whip is a full regular normal whip. I wish there was some chains on that whip to just really give you that chain story. Maybe instead of a whip, it was a chain whip. You know what I mean? Like, I think that's the only little thing that could have really taken this to like the oof next level, you know what I mean? All in all, I don't think that it should come to anybody's surprise, but to hear me say, for Nymphia Wind, it's gonna be a bop. Next up is Plain Jane, and Plain Jane is coming out in this silver bodysuit, and it's giving you a little bit of like that robot vibe. In fact, she said she's giving you sex cyborg. On her silver bodysuit, she's got a couple of chains dangling from her arms, and she decided to pair it with this blonde hair with a little streak of neon in it. Now, you know, me and neon, I love the color neon, so therefore that little streak of neon really uh, sold it for me. Uh, I really love the hair. I think it's really cool to have that little punch of color against this sort of silver blonde vibe. Uh, it just brings that little extra zhuzh to it. Now let's talk about the garment. The garment is fine. We have seen so many of these silver bodysuits done on dry grace that it's hard to do them in a more unique, original way. Now, I can't believe I'm gonna say this, but actually on Très Grace Belgique, Chloe Clark did a silver bodysuit and I thought that one was far better than this one. And that's coming from the Belgian franchise and that is one of the least watched franchises and currently the lowest franchise. Now, if we're getting that quality on Drag Race Belgique, I'm expecting a lot more from the US season and I feel like this is not a lot more. Is it a great outfit? Yes, it is a nice outfit. There's nothing wrong with it. Is it anything special? No. So then I go to the theme, chains. Where are the chains? She's got two chains and that's about it. The rest of it is silver, but I don't feel like she's really embracing the chains. The scary part is that if I got chains as a theme, I probably would have went in the silver as well. So it goes, it just goes to show, don't stick to your first idea, give us something else. The silver lining here, pun intended, is that she looks good and it definitely fits plain Jane's drag character being this like sex bimbo. Even though I've seen it done so many times on Drag Race, Plain Jane still looks quite beautiful. Is it at the same level that Plain Jane always does? No. I feel like Plain Jane can definitely do better than this. That being said, her not so good is still better than a lot of drag queens really good. And that's why for Plain Jane, I am still gonna go ahead and give her a bow. 
it's Sapphira Cristal, and Sapphira Cristal is coming out in this black and white polka dot latex dress with this latex face skinny. She's giving you a nod to the kink culture of puppy play with these little dog ears, this collar, and a lot of dog toys. She's then outlined all of her elements with chains, chains around the neck, chains around the polka dots, and is really giving you this more club kid version of what drag can be. First off, I will say that this is super original, super unique, and I love that somebody is doing something different. Most people like to stick with the pretty pretty and Sapphira Cristal being very much one of those. So the fact that she is going into this other direction and showing you a different side of drag is quite lovely. Personally, I love things that are a little bit strange, a little bit weird, so this is very much up my alley. I love when drag is there to push people, and this definitely does. But the best part about this is that it's a nod to the culture, but still keeping it fashion. You can probably see something like this in some weird-ass runway on some fashion week where people are just trying to get people's attention, and I'm like, work, baby, work. Now, does it fit for the theme? I'm not sure. I find that it's a little bit of stretch for the theme because the main part of this garment isn't chains. It just got a couple of chains on it. You know what I mean? So therefore I wish the chains were more like an integral part of the outfit. That being said, she looks stunning. She looks beautiful. It's got chains on it. It's original and, and therefore there's not much I can really say except for. Oh. And that was it for this week's runway. Girl, you know I love these types of runways. Chains is a perfect example of what to do for a theme because it is vague enough that people can put their own personality on it, but specific enough that you can actually like track it. You know what I mean? A lot of the garments were really strong and that's why I had trouble choosing my fabs and drabs of the week. Speaking of fabs and drabs of the week, let's get into the reason why you guys are here. You guys are here to find out who had my fabs and drabs of the week. This week, my drab of the week goes to... Oh, I just didn't get it. I mean, it was very well made, but it just wasn't hitting the same way the other ones were. It was actually probably better made than some of the garments, but overall, I just wasn't really vibing with it. But enough about the negative, let's get into the positive. Who had my fab of the week? Well, my fab of the week this week goes to... Working Dion. I love this garment. Not only does she look stunning in it, she really embraced the theme. She gave you chains on chains on chains, while uh, some other outfits were really beautiful. I felt like this one really just embraced the theme and really hit a home run. So congratulations to Morphin Love Dion. Y'all, do you agree or disagree with my thoughts? We'll go ahead and leave a comment down below. I do read all of them and try to reply to most of them. And while you're there, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button. Once again, my name is Neon Noir at Miss Neon Noir on all social platforms, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. -bye.